Hello children, today Miss Ami will tell you a story about Hey Grand Jude. It was written by Paul McCartney and illustrated by Catherine Darst. Hey Grand Jude. Look at the picture, it's postcard. This is Grand Jude and the uh, grandchildren. Lucy and Tom and M and Bob were spending a weekend with their granddad. Today was one of those days when nothing felt quite right. It was gray and drizzly and everybody was grumpy and too bored to be bothered. So this is M and Bob and Granddad. Cheer up, chillers, said Granddad, and he pulled out a pile of postcards from the back pocket of his trousers. Look at this! This one. M picked out a postcard with a picture of a sandy beach and sparkling blue waters. Oh, I wish we could go there, Grand Jude, she said. Well, let's see what we can do. Grand Jude reached into his coat pocket and took out a shiny compass. He gave the compass a rub and waved it over the postcard. The needle started to spin round and round. See the compass needle spin, let the magic fun begin, then it flash of magic. Zing, bang, sizzle, everything changed. The children were standing on a good beach with little waves tickling their toes. The water felt beautifully cool. Bob left as he splashed in the sea. But the magic compass hadn't finished yet. Huge flying fish leaped from the sea. Hey, Grandjud, they called. It's a school of flying fish, said Grandjud. Come on, chillers, let's go for the ride. A school, whispered Lucy. I hope we don't have to do any homework. They skipped across shimmering blue waves on the backs of the flying fish before coming to rest again on the hot sand. They built sand castles and they lay beneath a coconut tree eating ice cream. The memory of their gray grumpy day was completely washed away and they were perfectly happy until ouch cried bob a little crab scuttled across the beach that crab pinched my toe oh no suddenly lots of little crabs were scurrying out of the sea heading straight towards grand jude and the children <gasps> oh no hey grand jude said m can we go somewhere a little less? Pinchy, yes, I think we'd better hop it, said Grand Jude. He quickly waved the magic compass over another postcard. This one had a picture of a cowboy. See the compass needle spin, let the magic fun begin. The magic flashed and sparkled and once again, Zing, bang, sizzle, everything changed. Grand Jude and the children found themselves in a desert valley with a spiky green cactuses. <gasps> wow, look at the turtle and the lizard. Lots of cactus. You see the flower cactus? Mm. 
a cowboy galloped towards them on a beautiful spotted horse. Hey, Green Jude, called the cowboy, waving his hat in the air. Wow, what a handsome Appaloosa, said Green Jude, admiring the horse. Appaloosie, asked him. No, that's the kind of horse it is. Nothing to do with me, said Lucy. Grand Duke gave a whistle and five more horses came galloping up. He helped each of the children onto a horse and they raced together through the valley. Wee! cried Bob. Wow, they are racing on a horse. Horse riding. Faster, faster, yelled Lucy. But what was that cloud of dust on the horizon? Hmm. Oh no! A herd of wild buffalo was rushing right towards them. The canyon echoed with the sound of a hundred hooves. Before they could ride to safety, Tom's horse reared and he tumbled to the ground. Hold on, Tom! shouted Grandud, snatching a rope from the cowboy's saddle. With a thrill, he lassoed Tom and hauled him onto his horse. Right, chillers! cried Grandud, as fast as you can! They cleared the stampede just in time. Hey, Grand Jude, <sighs> panted Tom. Perhaps we could go somewhere a little less. Stampy, yes, good idea, said Grand Jude. And I think I need to cool down. Once again, he whipped out his magic compass and waved it over a postcard. See the compass needle spin, let the magic fun begin. Before the children could see the picture, magic sparkled and flashed. And in the blink of an eye, zing, bang, sizzle, everything changed. They found themselves high on a hill in the afternoon sun. The children laughed as they rolled in sweet smelling wild flowers that seemed to stretch forever. Grand Jude pulled out his trusty guitar and began strumming a song. Hey, Grand Jude, mute some friendly cows. Their bells tingling along the tune. Grand Jude drew a small telescope from his pocket and they took turns looking at the snow-capped peaks. But soon, they heard a rumbling sound. Oh no! Hey, Grand Jude, look! yelled Lucy as she peered through the telescope. A huge wall of snow was sliding down from the mountains above. Avalanche! Quick chillers! cried Grand Jude. Jump! Just before the wave of snow reached them, Grand Jude and children leaped on the one of the friendly cows. Up, go up! Grand Jude cried. Magic swirled from the compass, lifting them all higher and higher off the ground, sailing them safely through the sky with the sea of snow rushing beneath them. Swiss coasts are exceptionally good flyers, said Grand Jude. Oh, flying coasts. Now, riding a flying cow is a lot of fun, but it had been a very long day. Hey, Grand Jude, <gasps> oh, said Lucy with a yawn. Maybe we could go somewhere a little more. Sleepy, 
said Grindut with a chuckle. That sounds like a very good idea. This time, instead of a postcard, Grindut pulled a photograph of his own house from his pocket. Magic compass, one more spin, it's time for bedtime to begin. He waved his compass over it, making the magic sparkle and spin. And just like that. Zing, bang, sizzle! They were back in Grand Dude's living room. And the compass hadn't finished yet. With a final flash of magic, the children were changed and ready for bed. Their teeth were brushed, their faces were washed, and they were all tucked up tight. And in five minutes, Flat, Tom and Bob and Lucy and M were fast asleep. Dreaming of their next adventures. See the compass, needle spin, let the magic fun begin. Good night, Grand Jude. That's the end. Thank you for watching this video and the storytelling about Hey Grand Jude, written by Paul McCartney and illustrated by Catherine Dars. See you on the next story, children.